some very sad news has just broke. Um, yeah, I went live about an hour ago, explaining to you guys the situation, how the Queen was at Balmoral. She was in a bad way. And the news has just broke that Queen Lizzie has unfortunately, Queen Elizabeth II has unfortunately passed away. It's a sad day. It's a very, very sad day, actually. Yeah. She might, look, people say, oh, she was 96, right? But when you've had somebody who is such a figurehead as she is, it's tough, man. It's tough. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, I mean, look, I, I wouldn't say I'm a major royalist, but I, I appreciate the royal family. And she sadly passed away. We was on live an hour ago saying how, saying how I believe she, I thought she was already dead. And in the UK, we have the, the, the BBC news and that comes on at six and they've just broke the news and she sadly passed away. Yeah. What a sad day. Really sad day. I mean, what, 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 uh. so if you didn't know, the Queen has uh, sadly passed away. She had a family around her. Apparently she died peacefully in her sleep. So what they do is when the Queen passes away, the Royal website is, uh, let me show you guys the Royal website. What they do, they they black it out completely and they show a tribute to Queen Elizabeth. <sighs> and by the looks of the website, it is going to be Charles who's going to become king. But it's really sad, man. It's heartbreaking. What an amazing woman, yeah. But she gets to be with Prince Philip again. So sad, heartbreaking. It's getting me choked up thinking about it. The King and Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. I'm guessing they're referring about Prince Charles, soon to be King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla. She was a great monarch to England as well as Canada. Yeah, the Queen is dead. Long live the King. Long live the King. I'm going to be at Buckingham Palace tomorrow. I'm going to show you guys what it's like in the UK when we lose someone as... Poignant and beautiful as the Queen. I'm going to be at Buckingham Palace tomorrow. Show you guys what it's like in the UK. Outside the palace where the Queen resided for a very long time. Yeah. So Charles has big heels to fill. Yeah, he's got a big big old role to fill. Prince Charles. Half your time we morning for you today. Yeah. It's a sad day. 96 years old. She had a good innings. But. I mean, even in the photo I saw of her. She was still smiling. Yeah, it is what it is. What do you do? How far away is the palace from where you are? It's about a half an hour train journey. I'm going to go there tomorrow and I'm going to um, show you guys Buckingham Palace. She's on the last journey now. She had a wonderful life. She did have a wonderful life. I agree. Thank you, Sheila. She was iconic. I agree. Obviously, in America, you had Betty White in your corner. We had the Queen in our corner. What will the next state making Charles King? So he's heading back to... Uh, He's heading back to London tomorrow with Camilla, the Queen Consort. And I'm assuming they'll they'll go through the right procedures to put Prince Charles, you know, in place as King. Thank you for the 500 stars. I really appreciate that. And thank you for all your condolences. That means the world. My son and I will be visiting her coffin in Westminster, pay our respects. I'll do the same. It was just natural. Uh, someone said, how did you know how she died? It was a natural passing. She, you know, fell asleep peacefully. They said, let me read the website. Let me read the actual website for you guys. I think it was heartbreak. Who else think it was heart? I think it's got to be to do with heartbreak. The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. So I'm guessing she died in the afternoon. They waited a few hours and then broke the news. Yeah, heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. What can you do? Thank you so much, Amy. 
God rest the queen. I agree. God save the queen. God rest the queen. God help the queen. She is gone, yeah. The queen has sadly passed away. Still did her duty towards the end. Days before she passed, he was still working as the queen. How amazing is that? Balance, thank you so much. Yes, yeah, so if you're just joining now, Queen Elizabeth has sadly passed away. I'm reading the website here. They've got a picture of the queen. They've blacked out the total royal family website. Um, yeah. It's heartbreaking. It's, it's, it's gut-wrenching. Because you think someone like that is going to live on, you know? But... No, that's not the case. Yeah, so sad. She's reunited with Prince Philip once again. Well, there you go. There you go. She was a world queen, my heartfelt condolences. Yeah. I didn't realize she had so much love around the world. I didn't realize it was this, this crazy. I didn't realize people all over the world love the queen as much as we do. Sorry for your loss. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yeah. If you're joining now, if you didn't know, the Queen has passed away. So now Operation London Bridge will go into action. So that means Charles will be made King, Camilla Queen Consort. There'll be 12 days of mourning. Parliament will, will not be in action for 10 days, I believe. What do you think about King Charles? Personally, for me, I would rather have uh, William, Prince William as King. But Charles has clearly been waiting for it all his life. I wish him all the best. Yeah, grandma's born when the Queen served in World War II. Wow. Now she's with her husband, her love. Yeah, her best friend, her soulmate. She's now with him. RIP, I was bawling when I saw the news. My heart goes out to you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. You guys are very respectful. I appreciate that. Um, yeah. So, that's the news. Long, longest reigning queen in history. Yeah. <sighs> Crazy, eh? 96 years old. 96 years old. We love the Queen too. Yeah, send them an air in my deepest sympathies. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. I'm reading the stories now. The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consul remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. Queen Elizabeth II was the longest reigning monarch in British history and the world's oldest head of state. On her death, the Queen's oldest son and her Charles, the former Prince of Wales, has become the King of the United Kingdom and 14th Commonwealth Realms. So sorry for your loss. Thank you, Andrew Halls. Thank you, my friend. It's also expected that her body will lie in state to allow the, pu allow the public to pay tribute. The King will sign off the final plans in the coming days. Yeah. Crazy, huh? So I believe her body will be put on display to people to pay the respect. How could we not? She's an impressive woman. Yeah. She was. Really, really impressive. Sorry for your loss and Great Britain's lost. Yeah, it's it's tough. She became queen at the age of 25. 25 years old. Imagine that pressure of being at 25 years old. How close to the palace? I'm pretty close. I'm pretty close. Just two tube stops away. I'm going to go to Buckingham Palace tomorrow and live stream it and show you guys the, the situation, how the UK works when a, when a monarch passes. I'll show you. It's very beautiful. Thousands of people will be there. Flowers will be laid across the whole the front of the gates of the Buckingham Palace. I'd be surprised if I can even get close to Buckingham Palace. It's going to be absolutely, um, yeah, rammed full of people paying their respects. And hopefully I can show you guys who don't live in the UK. I can show you uh, uh, the scenes of Buckingham Palace tomorrow. I'll show you. I'll do my best. I will do my best. Um, yeah, R.I.P. the Queen. Rest in peace, the Queen. God save the Queen. She's a wonderful lady. 70 years, 214 days. That is insane. Imagine doing the same job for 70 years. <sighs> Effing a grace and class. I agree. And I hope Prince Charles carries that same grace and class when he becomes the King. I'm hoping he does that. If not, hmm. Um, is this the beginning of the end of the monarchy? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Hope he signs off with goodbye, mommy. We love you. <sighs> I don't know.
know, maybe. It's hard to believe she passed. I know I still haven't processed it yet. I still haven't processed that she's that she's passed. So what happens now? I'm going to read you out to you what happens now the Queen has passed. Upon the Queen's death, Prince Charles has immediately become the new monarch. A period of national mourning has begun and it is set to last until the funeral, which is expected to take place in 10 days time. So these are all the things that are going to happen now she's passed. Her body will be moved to Buckingham Palace, where it will likely remain for five days. The government is not expected to announce any other business unless urgent to allow focus to fall completely on the Queen. Major sporting events, including football and cricket matches, could now be postponed as a mark of respect. So the country will go into mourning for a total of 10 days. The whole world hurts right now. Yeah. Similar to the Betty White situation, you know. Charles will be king. Prince Charles has now become King Charles. But, however, yeah, he can change his name. King Charles can change his name. God save the Queen. Rest in peace. Yes, rest in peace. So the UK will now go into mourning for 10 days. Until the Queen's funeral, which will take place in 10 days. Her body will now be moved to Buckingham Palace, where it will stay there for five days. Um, is it going to be the king for a few years before moving on to the next generation? Who knows? He may be the king until the day he passes. We don't know. Uh, but how old is um, uh, King Charles now, may I say? Let me let me have a look. How old? I think he's in his 70s. He's definitely in his 70s. He's 73. He's 73. So how many more years has Prince Charles got in him to be king? I don't know. 20? Is he going to live the same age as his mum? He's got 23 years as the king. If he has, fair enough. I don't know. What do you guys think? How long has Prince Charles got in him to be the king? Let me know. I personally think, yeah, if, if he lives till 96 like his mother, then amazing. Here we go. We have a statement from His Majesty the King. We have a statement from the King two minutes ago. The death of my beloved mother, Her Majesty the Queen, is a moment of the greatest sadness for me and all my members of the family. This is a, this is a statement from the King. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> we mourn profoundly the passing of a cherished sovereign and a much-loved mother. I know her loss will be deep, deeply felt throughout the country, the realms and the Commonwealth and by countless people around the world. During this period of mourning and change, my family and I will be comforted and sustained by our knowledge of the respect and deep affection in which the Queen was so wildly held. That is a statement from the King. That one right there. Um, yeah. So there we have it. Prince Charles has now become King Charles. So sad. What a wonderful woman. What a beautiful woman. I've actually been inside Buckingham Palace. I've, you can do tours inside Buckingham Palace. Obviously not now. But, uh, yeah. She will, she will lay in state. Yeah, she will. She will lay in state for three days. Um, I don't think he will, though. Prince Charles will not abdicate, uh, uh, abdicate the, the, the throne for uh, William. How do you feel about the new king? It is what it is. I would prefer William to be in power, but if Prince Charles feels like he can handle it, then let's do it. You know, that's great. Does, how long does Prince Charles have in him? Does he have another 20 years? Can he get to 96 like his mother? I don't know. Once I say condolences to your country, I repeat Elizabeth. Yeah, it's tough. It's really, really tough. But... Yeah, it's, I mean, how do you handle news like that, you know? It's, uh, it's really tough. Um, but what can you do? What can you do? Sad, sad day. I don't want to cry. <sighs> but it's sad. It's really, really sad. If anything, I'm getting emotional over the fact that 
she's not lonely no more, you know? Like, she was with her partner for so long. And now she gets to be with her, her best friend, her partner, her forever, the person she was married to for over 73 years. But look, I wanted to come on here and tell you guys the news. I appreciate all your lovely, kind words. It means the world. And I will see you all tomorrow at Buckingham Palace. I'm going to go to Buckingham Palace tomorrow. I'm going to show you the scenes of what it's like when someone is uh, big and amazing as a queen passes away. And I will show you. How how weird is it? She died. Yeah, she died at midday today. I came on live around five p.m. and I said, I "Have a." Other people were saying it too. Said I have a weird feeling the queen has already passed away. And I was saying, "What do you mean?" I said, "I have a feeling she's already passed away." By the way, things are going, and it turns out she had already passed away. So it is what it is. I'll see you all tomorrow. We will miss you hearing you say, "Bless her little cotton socks." Yeah, bless her little cotton socks. Bless her little cotton socks. I will see you all tomorrow at Buckingham Palace. Thank you so much for your kind words. And I'll see you all soon. God bless.